coming to the USA was a cultural shock because the food and the people were different and the language was difficult to understand. My mother was helping me out and I could hear her voice saying you can't just quit right now you need to finish what you've started the first years in school were the most challenging because I didn't know the language well and when I started working I didn't know the language and I wasn't even a waiter my job was to clean tables but with time I felt that as my language skills improved, I was starting to be accepted. At work, many people understood my situation. As a result, I gained more confidence. That's when I began to believe more in myself. I then wasn't only cleaning tables, but became a waiter. Now I could talk to people and take orders and I didn't feel out of place anymore. Some teachers wouldn't pay attention to my needs. Others would show a greater interest in me. Well, I guess the problem was that some teachers spoke fast and did not care if I understood what they were saying. Because of these attitudes, I felt to give up many times. Still, somehow found the strength to keep on going. Even though I had some really negative experiences with teachers who didn't seem to acknowledge me and my problems, I also had some great experiences. I had a teacher show me that he cared for me. My teacher would ask me how I was doing and ensure that I understood what was being said in class. So the good thing about this teacher was that he was willing to help me whenever I had a question. Not many people know how it feels to be in a class and not be able to understand a word of what people are saying. On my first day at school, well, I was lucky that my brother and I were attending the same class. And even though going to school was very difficult and frustrating, at least I wasn't alone in class. However, both my brother and I felt out of place. Sometimes at school, some people would make fun of me, only because I was a foreigner. I would often try to talk to other students and ask them questions about a class or an assignment. Sadly, I didn't receive much help, and what added to my frustration was that they were pretending as if they didn't understand me. I guess they didn't want to be bothered with helping me. Most of the students would avoid me simply because I was different. In class people weren't just from the USA. Many students came from South America and other countries. I was happy that I could relate with people who were also immigrants like me. It made a huge difference and helped me to make friends in a faster and more natural way. I also had other schoolmates who showed me an interest in my country and who loved that I was coming from Italy. I still remember my first day in the USA. We arrived in Salt Lake City at 11 p.m. and it was snowing. I felt as if I was in a daydream. I would look around and feel that I was part of a movie. Making friends in school made me feel more accepted 
and made my school experience more enjoyable.